Hi, Jay here. Not my usual view. No guns, no drones, no 3D printing. The other day I went looking for a Windows 7 laptop. And I knew I didn't want an iPad, I'd had an iPad. I knew I didn't want Android, I'd had an Android tablet. I knew I didn't want it, uh, I didn't want a Windows 8 uh, tablet. I'd had a Yoga, Lenovo Yoga. Um, I had a Lenovo Minx. Uh, I had tried a Microsoft Surface RT. I, I really just wanted a regular, inexpensive uh, laptop, a small one. Um, and it was hard to find one, and I finally found this one here. This is a Lenovo X140E, and the E stands for educational. And for the price and everything that I got with it, I really liked it. But I went on, I went on YouTube to try and find a review, because that's what everybody does now. And there was like 12 or 13 uh, videos listed. And there was one guy that did like a 30 minute review. I'll try not to make mine last that long. And all the rest of them were robot. Uh, robotic reviews you know these are the ones that talk like this and what they do they read the uh, the uh, published verbiage on this out loud with a computer while they show pictures of it you know, usually official pictures and at the very end say click here to buy yours because they get credit if you use their link to buy it from Amazon or wherever and those are called robot reviewers so there was only one stinking review by one guy on there so that's the reason I'm filming a review now and it's not normally one of my things because I want to put it on uh, YouTube because there was no other reviews but one. So this is hopefully going to be a second one to help somebody out. Um, all right, let's move in on the laptop so I can show you what it's got. All eyes on me. Okay. Now, this is the Lenovo X40e. It's an 11.6 inch LCD, uh, high def LCD, LED LCD. Uh, it is it has a, let's, let's talk about the main area. You have one button, the power on button. That's, that's the only button on there. Uh, then you have the trackpad. The trackpad has, you know, one finger, three finger, five finger, one finger. No, it's got all the finger gestures. It's got uh, automatic scroll on the sides of the trackpad. So, see there? It also has a track point with three physical buttons, left, middle, and right. It's a standard chiclet key, uh, keyboard. I think it's 85%, something like that. This is water resistant. It's a spill resistant keyboard. Again, this is for educational. See, it says right here, Edu Series. Um, as far as uh, lights and indicators on your right here, the only one you got is this button, this right here. Now, it is pretty cool because it says ThinkPad. And the LED power on and sleep LED are on the eye in ThinkPad. So that's pretty cool. Uh, along the front, you've got this large uh, stereo speaker. You have this access door with these three screws underneath it. You have your SODIMM memory expansion. You have your uh, Broadcom card, uh, your wireless card. Then you have your hard drive here. And that's a 7200 uh, Western Digital, I think, 7200 RPM. So it's, these are not cheap components in here either. And I think your CPU is here, but it's covered up with, uh, you know, anti-static material. And then this part right here is the battery and it just pops off. Uh, let's see, I talked about the screen. All right, let's talk about the sides then. Uh, I talked about the front speakers. Now on the right side, you have your power, your Kensington lock, your uh, powered USB 2.0. Now that means that uh, whenever you've got it plugged in, you don't have to turn the computer on, you can still plug your phone in and it'll charge without the computer being on. Then you have your HDMI right here and your SD card. Now, you would expect a CD-ROM, but this doesn't have any kind of a CD or optical drive at all. Uh, it does have the SD card here. And the reason I'm pointing that out is because I'm going to edit this in live, Windows Live Movie Maker off the video card from this camera using this SD card slot on this computer. Uh, on the uh, left side you have your VGA out your fans or your vents for your fans and I've never heard these fans come on you have two USB 3.0 uh, jacks you have an Ethernet I think it's Ethernet it may even be GigaNet I'm not sure your audio okay nothing on the back again that's where the battery snaps out uh, on the top let's see I want to point this out 
on the top, let me open it up and get it online again. And it'd be great if I could see. Again, I gotta go have surgery. I don't wanna go have surgery, but I got to. Can't see nothing. My left eye's full of blood. Yeah, it's, it's heck getting old. So anyway, so now that we're online again, I wanna make sure, because I wanna point out something on the back. If you look, again, another ThinkPad symbol with, again, the LED on the eye, so that when this is closed and asleep, that eye will slowly flicker in and out to let you know that it's asleep. And also, you know, from this side, you can tell that the notebook is on. It's also got this here. This is your wireless, so you can tell it's online uh, and, and, and getting a good signal. I, I, you know, I never, there's a lot of notebooks that do this. I never understood that because you're over there. So all you're doing is telling everybody on this side what's going on. It, you know, I'm sure there's a good reason. I'd rather they, they'd put more like, you know, a disc access light on this side than, than that, but hey, whatever. Um, the computer is pretty snappy. Let's see, let's uh, let's go back. Let's do, uh, this, is, and this is just running, you know, Windows 1.0. Let's go to YouTube. And again, I've not been on YouTube on here. Okay. Let's see, let's go what to watch or, let's see. Let's just pick something at random. See how quick it loads. You know, it's being all crapified on that one. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, let's just pick this. Oh, did I not click it? I didn't click it. Sorry. There it goes. So it's pretty quick. I mean, again, I've never loaded that before, so it's pretty quick. Um... And again, it's running Windows 7 latest build. I've completely upgraded it as of today. It's a live a Windows uh, Premium Home. No, I'm sorry. This is Windows Pro. Yeah, Windows Professional, Deluxe or whatever. It's got everything. Windows Professional 7. Uh, it does have uh, discrete graphics. I think it's a yeah, it's an AMD Radeon high definition 8330 graphics system. This is a high definition screen. Uh, Non-touch. Uh, what else? 500 gig hard drive, four gigs of RAM standard. Uh, like I said, I paid $37 to upgrade this to eight gigs. Now, don't misunderstand me. Most of these inexpensive 11.6, uh, 12-inch real computers only have one sodium. Like most of the Dells only have one sodium. This one comes with two, so you could actually put eight gigs of RAM in here. And uh, like I said, this 500 gig hard drive is Western Digital 7200 RPM. So to upgrade to something better, you know, you'd have to go to like a, um, you know, like a, uh, uh, God, just draw a blank. You'd have to go to like a, uh, a hard drive, like a static drive, like a, uh, you know what I mean, uh, electronic drive. And for what a 500 gig cost, you're basically buying the computer over again, so I'll wait until it comes down because this one, the, the 500 gigabytes at 7200 RPM is, is pretty much good anyway. Uh, what's What else? Uh, six hours, six to eight hours on this on the battery. Now the price. Now, when I bought this, when I bought this, it was $244.76 and the memory was $37. Both were prime, so I paid no shipping. So like $283. Now, I just noticed the same guy that I bought mine from, Computer Upgrade King, is now charging $281.76. Okay? For the same computer. $281.76. It's going up $38. Bucks. I'm like, I got this already Wednesday. I got it in Friday and today's Sunday. So in five days, it's going up 38 bucks, really? Look around, there's, there's a bunch of people selling it around this price, and it seems to go on sale pretty regularly. Uh, so for 280 bucks, I got better than an iPad, better than an Android, better than an RT. Uh, my buddy just was talking about going to get a uh, Surface, R, uh, Surface Pro 3. It's like 1,300 stinking dollars for that thing. This was, $280 with the upgrade or $280 without the upgrade. It's pretty snappy. It runs real Windows 7 XP 95 real programs. You know, not Android, not iOS. Um, 
SD card slot. It's a great deal. Uh, I, you know, I can't recommend it enough. And again, the only reason I'm posting this is because there was no other reviews up there. So, this is Jay. Keep on computing. Oh, that sounds too geeky. I can't say that. And I can't say keep on shooting because this is not my usual videos. So, I'll just say until I see you again. And as Such00 on YouTube says, be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. And long live the Republic. I'll talk to you later, guys.